I just got a phone call that I'm getting furloughed for a whole nother month until July 31st. Today's the first day of July. So I got a whole nother month of fishing every day it looks like. So I decided to get out of the house and get my mind off of it and see what I can get here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. I almost had one, guys. He did the old torpedo jump and got off. Oh, here I had one pickerel fall off. Let's see if I can pull something from this hole. I should be able to get something out of here. Always do. Good chance of a crappie, in fact. We'll see what happens. There we go. Oh yeah. Got something nice. We got a largemouth. Hey, hey. It's a fish. I'm on the board. All right. I'll take him. He was real shallow right against that log, guys. I mean, a foot of water. Not too bad. About a pound. Real large mouth too, not a spot. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's a big bass right in front of me. Right in front of me. Got him. All right. He hit it. Yes. There we go. That's what we came after, guys. Yes, indeed. It's a largemouth. About, about a pound. All right. Not too bad. About the same size as the one back behind me earlier. I actually seen him. He was sitting right here in front of me and I threw it right in front of his face. Some large mouth back in here. There he is. Got it. Oh yeah. Crappie. All right. Nice crappie. I thought that felt like a thump. Yes. Nice black crappie too. He's about 11. Man. All right. Finally something to worth mentioning anyway. Yeah. Nice 10. Not bad, guys, on the missile shockwave, and he inhaled that thing. This place is a little good crappie hole, too. All right. Quit curling, bud. Now you're curling that way. He just won't stop curling. There, stay straight for just a second. Goodness gracious. There we go. Uh, he don't want to. 
Oh well. He just wants to keep curling his tail. Got him on the chartreuse and white missile shockwave. Quarter ounce football. Three up. Now that's what I came after. That'll work. Yes. That will work without a doubt. I thought it felt awful funny the way he hit. Grabbed it and then didn't start pulling for a while. Middle of the river. Not even really a hole. I mean it's four or five foot deep. But nothing special about where he was setting. I was just kind of. Cast him wherever, and he, I can't believe I caught him there. Of all places. Little spotted bass, about 10 inch, maybe 11. Alright, that's four fish today, guys. Been a bad day. There we go, both in. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Mm -hmm. I gotta tighten my drag. I guess get the net right behind you. Oh, I was starting to doubt this lure. I'm leaving it on. He's a good four or five, four pounder. All right, guys, we're gonna use our awesome dip net with big holes in it. <laughs> Thanks to Bowfin. <laughs> oh, he's five. Boy, they are a fighting machine, ain't they? It'll get hung no matter how hard we try. That's something I gave up on. That ain't bad, is it? I'll just carry it way over here. Yeah. All right, guys. First blood. First real blood. Whew. Yeah, it's not bad. About mid 20s. Whew. It's a little slower. Man, three days ago, we couldn't keep them off. It was every other cast behind behind the little dam over there. But it dropped about a whole foot and then they're just not back there anymore. I guarantee it's hung in that net. Oh, all right, guys. First bow fin of the day, 24 inch. I'm gonna get him back in. <sighs> Caught a uh, make videos? Yeah Alright guys I just caught a gar that I was That I had spotted a few minutes Before catching it And it, what it is is it's got It's a short nose gar but it has a black Nose just like a black nose Crappie would for about six inches, it looks like someone took a magic marker and ran up his nostril. Really weird. And he's got a big black spot on his forehead. Pretty cool. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm going to get here back in. The bow fin, yeah. Alright. Fish number two. God. Oh. <laughs> of course. Oh, it fixed itself. These hooks are a lot better than. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, Virgil's on his first bow fin. It's a nice one, too. I'll get the net, buddy. You can get it if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Appreciate it. He's about mid 20s, too. All right. Yeah, about 24. Oh, man. Mm -mm. He's doing everything he could to get out. Yeah. We'll just I'm just buying a new net after about another week. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> They're so hard to hold even with gloves. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> so 
and I'm going to get something to drink out of the car if you want something. All right, Virgil with his first blood of the day, 25 and a half inch bowfin. So he's about five, four and a half pounds. Yeah, his tail's been all up. Yeah. Hell, our door's sitting there wide open anyway. Large mouth on the Bomber Model A again. That's what I was catching them on last uh, three days ago. This guy's pretty decent. He's about 12 inches. There's some nice bass in here. I caught the three pounder inside the tunnel. I knew he wasn't fighting like a bowfin or a gar. Oh, come on, man. You're gonna make me go get my damn pliers, ain't you? Well, that's just wrong of you. I was gonna let you go too. Now I'm kind of feeling hungry. Oh, I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Here you go. Oh, oh. Quit flopping. I'm gonna let you go soon. I promise. All right, guys. For second largemouth of the day. Whew. I was on the first cast, I think. Very first cast. Just makes you wonder what. Oh man! Oh! oh it's gotta be a bowfin. Oh my god. Dip net! Wilma! I need the dip net! There's still a few in there. But they were so thick in here the other day, you could just see them swimming around. It's changed. Can you get him? Yeah, he's about mid-20s. Yeah, I'll be able to get it by myself. He ain't real big as I thought, but... Ah! <clears throat> he's not bad, though. I'll have to take him over. Oh, yeah, I'll probably end up needing pliers at least. He's pretty inhaled there all right all right guys my second bowfin of the day about the exact same we're getting ones that are about mid 20s 24 25 he's about right at that 23 maybe eh, it's just not like it was the other day when me and her was here it's really slow the waters went down a whole foot so it's really changed i'm just gonna drop him over here the way he ain't scaring the ones over there <laughs> All right, guys, Virgil with his second, yep. second both in. It looks like he's got a buffalo scale. It must have been laying on the ground. Yeah. Got him on the square bill again. So we each got one over here. Whew. We had to really work for him today, didn't we? Yeah. My battery, guys, I just hooked into a nice four pound largemouth he's at least a full three he might he's over three. Oh my gosh inside the tunnel inside this tunnel guys nice largemouth wow he's three he ain't no four i thought he would boy that's big for here though <sighs> i did a tie pig patrol and threw my crankbait inside that tunnel like he always does in his videos so thank you Tyler you gave me the idea that is a healthy bass though they're healthy in here ow they're man that's my biggest one out of this place for sure my goodness he's he's three and a half here you go I'm just gonna have you film me a second that is nice. Wow. Not bad. He's at least three, isn't he? Nice largemouth, guys. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> Inside oh, the yeah. tunnel. That's the secret. 
It was too swift to fish in there the other day because all yeah. the water was rushing in. Man. Got him. Oh, oh, big old gar. Oh my goodness, gar, it's big though. Dang, I don't, I'll try to get him without the net. It's gonna be hard. I think I can pull him out though. That's a big gar, spotted. Wilma! He's not my biggest, but he's dang close. It's a, it's a, it's big for a spot. He put up a hell of a fight, boy. Man, it's not bad. He's about two feet long or longer with his beak, probably 26. He, all you gotta do is take camera off my head. I got it recording already. <sighs> okay, don't go on my hook. Move it, move it. God, <sighs> they are hard to hold, even with gloves. All right, guys. Nice spotted gar here. Real nice. Smell fish. It's that someone left shrimp over there in that box. Okay, that's enough. Rotten shrimp. You're good. All right, guys. I'm gonna get him back in. That's a nice spotted gar there. Surprise I got him without the net, man. It's a miracle. I might try over there. Oh, I got hit real hard by a gar again. Oh, and I caught a nice gar too. I forgot about him. Oh yeah, man. Whoa. Man. Will my net. Yeah. Man, what, what kind of you got? 30 with a 50 pound leader. I used to be able to get it. I got this one up to 30. He got a griddle. Wilma! Hey, can you do me a favor? My dip net is laying on the ground right over there. If you just hand it to me, I can get it myself once I get the net. Yeah. I had a gar that nipped at it right before him. Oh, you get off that boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get it once I... Okay, thank you. He's a big man. I'm gonna have to get down in this corner. Oh, they're bad. They, they was real bad up where we just was. I got bit in the hands by them. Not bad, but it's not big. About 20, 21. All right. I'll get him back in. Are you letting it go? Yeah. We can keep it. You want it? Yes. You, oh, you got too many? We only got five. Uh, you guys can, are welcome to have it. I don't care. No. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Whew, not bad.
picture of you with that thing. Here, let me get a... Virgil caught a nice channel cat on a KVD square bill, black square bill, about a two pound channel cat below a dam. Nice little unexpected catch anyway. He's eating signs. <laughs> you can have them if you want them. Nah. That's all right. I don't feel like messing with all that when I get home. I'll be so wore out. I'm oh. You just cranked it down real hard right at the beginning, didn't you? Oh. Yep. I thought it was fighting weird. It kept spinning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I got me a channel cat, guys. On a crankbait. See, now you can tell it's a full moon bite. Dang, I hope I can get him without pliers, man. I don't want to... Or you got yours, probably. I might be able to get it. Maybe. And maybe not. Uh, I can almost get it. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is a pretty big one here. He's about 26. 26 incher. Let me get him back in. I'm going to spend 10, 10 minutes getting my crankbait out of the dip net again. It's, it's ruined now. It's not even going to work after today. It's that far in there. What a frustrating dip net. 